After days of bad news, a local family gets word they can see their loved one back home on U.S. soil. That's a relief. That's good news. First Lieutenant Christopher Rosebrock was hurt earlier this week in a suicide bombing in Afghanistan. He's suffering from shrapnel wounds to his feet and legs and some broken bones. Oh, you definitely want to trade places with them and, you know, any dad would do that and you just feel like, yeah, you can't do anything, they're so far away or just a feeling of helplessness. Last night, Rosebrock got back to the U.S. He's being treated at the Walter Reed Medical Center in Virginia. This afternoon, his family flew there to be with him. Rosebrock is a 2004 graduate of Hicksville High School. His dad says he knew when he went off to college that he wanted to serve his country. He was part of the ROTC at Bowling Green. This was his first tour in Afghanistan. For him, it's an honor and a privilege to serve his country. and. You know, and he loves, he loves doing what he's doing for the military. As Rosebrock's family is going through this tough time, his father says it's a reminder that our country is at war. I think sometimes we forget that there is a war going on. We just go on with our lives and don't realize that there's, you know, people giving their lives on a daily basis. Battershell says while his son has a long road of recovery, he's confident this won't stop him from continuing to serve his country. In Hicksville, Ohio, Stephanie Parkinson. Indiana's News Center.